and welcome to MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This MATA course will cover how to set your environment up for rebranding and distributing a MicroStrategy application. By the end of this segment, you can expect to have an environment that has all of the tools necessary to start rebranding a MicroStrategy application. First off, you need to be on a Mac machine. Xcode, Apple's IDE, and the application used to build iOS applications will only work on Macs and cannot be used with another OS. To reiterate, they do not make Xcode for Windows, so you cannot use any Windows-based machine. So let's get started by downloading Xcode. To do so, go to developer.apple.com slash Xcode. Click View in the App Store. That will launch the App Store application. Once in the App Store, simply click Install and wait for it to install. Once done, launch Xcode to make sure everything installed correctly. The next step in configuring your environment is to download the MicroStrategy Applications SDK to your local machine. To do so, go to software.microstrategy.com slash download slash index.aspx. Find the latest iOS update, patch, or just a general release and download the iOS client. All of these versions will have the full mobile application, so don't worry about the patch, fixed, update, GA label. Once the DMG has downloaded, open it up to view the contents. Highlight all of the contents that are in the DMG and extract them by just dragging and drop into an empty folder on your desktop. This will allow us to interact with the contents without restrictions. We can now close the DMG. In the folder with the copied DMG contents, we can see several different folders. Library contains frameworks to import a custom application, and Samples contains sample implementations of those frameworks. We will be focusing on the MicroStrategy Mobile folder. Go to the MicroStrategy Mobile Xcode project file within that folder. Double-click the file and it should open automatically in Xcode. Once that opens, it will index the files and you should be able to see the project in the left-hand navigation pane. Expand the contents. You will see all of the files and the folders that comprise your app. Today I'm building an iPhone app, so first I want to make sure that Xcode is running the correct scheme. To check, click the Scheme button in the top left corner and make sure that your scheme is on MicroStrategy Mobile iPhone and is running to the iPhone 6.1 simulator. To test to make sure we're ready to move on, press the Run button in the top left corner of the screen. It will compile and run. If you see a warning, don't worry, it's probably nothing. Once the simulator launches, you see MicroStrategy's demo, like the one on the App Store, loaded in the simulator. The last thing that you want to do is make sure that you can sign into Apple's provisioning portal. Ask around your organization to see if your company already has a license. If you are already signed up for Apple's Enterprise Developer Program, then great. Get a username and a password and sign into the Member Center at developer.apple.com. If not, you can sign up at developer.apple.com slash program slash iOS slash enterprise not regular developer. Follow the steps there and you should be good to go. In summary, if you are able to run the app in the iOS simulator via Xcode and if you can sign into Apple's developer site, then you are prepared to start customizing your application and you can move on to the next of the iOS rebrand courses, configuring your application. And that's a wrap for this model course on setting up your environment.